and welcome to another episode of First Strike with me, Striker HD. And in today's episode, we shall be taking a look at the Alpha of Prison Architect. Uh, background on the game, a uh, little information as I always do. Uh, it's developed by what I believe is a team of two men. Uh, I might be wrong, but their actual uh, company's name is Introversia Software. And their names are Mark Morris, who is the producer, and Chris Daly, the designer. Now, these two have a really good approach to this game. They basically do monthly updates. It's still an alpha, as I said, um, but you can buy it on Steam now as an early access game. And they definitely do do monthly updates, and it's very handy. And the updates are ranging from small bug fixes to adding pretty cool things into the game, as I'll show you today. Um, also, on their YouTube channel, which I don't know because I suck, um, they each patch, they... Well, I don't know whether it's each patch, but each major patch they put out a video explaining the changes and what's to come. And it's a really nice um, gesture by them. But considering it's made over $10.7 million, um, <laughs> that was just in the pre-order of the Alpha, then you can't expect something like that. Lucky buggers, I say. Um, but yes, so without further ado, let's get into... Prison Architect Alpha version, whatever I put in the title, 16 maybe. Anyway, uh, I'll show you the options quick. Graphics, you got a resolution, you got filtering, which are two, three options. I believe Super Samples is the best from my little knowledge. Uh, and then window mode on or off. Audio, you got master volume, which is some weird uh, slider. Uh, mix frequency and swap stereo if you're strange. And then with the game, you have an auto save timer, which is nice. And whatever the hell that is. Uh, yeah. Oh, it tells you what you need for each to make each room a room. And then you also have a time lapse feature, which some people have made some incredible videos on. It basically captures a frame um, every so often. So if you're building a prison that takes hours and hours, and it's some mega super awesome jail prison prison jail same difference um i know it's not in the u.s but cheers uh then then yeah you can make a pretty cool video of it and uh yes 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 so create a new prison you also have an introduction as you saw there um which takes you through the basics of the game it's kind of like a tutorial but it's a good fun one so you can choose the size we're just going to go over small today because i'm just going to do a little introduction for you guys I've explained some of the features and the mechanics of the game. Then you have Fog and War on or off. And as you can see there, it's basically that you require guards or CCTV cameras as some line of sight to actually see what's happening in each room. Um, and if you don't have that, then they can get up to all kinds of mischiefs. Um, so yeah, that's a nice feature of the game. You kind of want that on. Uh, continuous intake sucks bum, you don't want that on because the prisoners will just keep coming and <laughs> you can't stop it and you'll fail miserably. Generate forests is, uh, I mean, I kind of get it because it literally makes trees as you see here. Uh, and basically you kind of have to dismantle them and then they end up as logs and a tree stump and then you can sell the logs which is cool. So it's a source of income but it's poo. Uh, and then you can have lakes and uh, derelict buildings. Which is also pretty cool. So, we're going to go play. And here we go. This is the small land. You can see our uh, workers. Bob, Jim, Dave, Carol, Nob. That's it, yeah. Names were never my strong point. So, what we're going to do first is pause it. And uh, do the, the most important thing you're going to do. Here's our Dave, Jim, Bob, Boris, Smorris. The two twins. Um... You can get a grant, and this will be your main source, because you see we only have $10,000, that's poop, so we're going to get that one, and we got to build all these things, which is basically uh, what you need to build a basic prison that can take in prisons. Uh, at the moment, we're going to receive some more prisoners in 23 hours and 46 minutes, which goes way too quickly. <laughs> you can change the game time, but uh, it still goes quickly, because this game's hard as nails. Sometimes, and if you suck like me. So we're going to close that for now, just so I don't have to rush and I can show you the basics. So, a good thing to start with is planning. And you can plan your walls, your objects, and your pathways. 
And basically, what you're going to plan is that you actually need to do foundations to make each building. Uh, after you've planned it, you it costs a knob load. And uh, it upsets me. But then you have materials. So anything from different floor types, uh, outdoor and indoor, dirt, paving, so grass. It tells you whether it's indoor or outdoor. They have different costs depending on the luxury. Fences, concrete floor, wooden floor, blah, 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 blah. And then the walls. So brick wall, concrete wall, and a perimeter wall, which is as expensive as, fucking, I don't know, gold fucking chocolate or something. I don't know. I don't know. And then you can remove tunnels, uh, <laughs> which, again, is another fe one of the features they've added. Uh, which is pretty cool. I've never actually seen one, but I don't have time to play games, alright? And then here are the actual rooms you uh, can make. And you require certain ones to actually have your prison. There's obviously like cells or a holding cell. Uh, solitary confinement. you got canteens, kitchens, showers, yards, storage, blah, 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 blah. And then some ones that aren't necessary but are pretty damn cool. Like a kennel for your doggy dogs. Uh, a morgue, <laughs> which is just depressing. As is the bloody execution thing, which I refuse to do, because uh, it's mean. And then, let's not get into that argument. Visitation, so your families can come and see what what a, what a bad person you are, and your little little Johnny, the Johnny kid, and he calls you uncle because cause he hates you and he's not his dad anymore. And, uh, and Johnny cries, and Johnny says you're a bad person, and then Johnny's mummy. Who is your nan? Oh, I'm done. Objects. Some pretty cool stuff again in here. Anything from a sprinkler, if you want to water your uh, inmates, which, <laughs> no, to a bloody electric chair, to a filing cabinet, the most important thing, to a dog crate, uh, because swag. And drinks machines, and you can sell your objects. Kind of like Sims esque. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty awesome. And then this is the staff. Uh, the workmen, guards. Guards are obviously pretty important. Warden uh, runs the whole place. And then you get foreman, psychologist, accountant, lawyers, chief, uh, chefs and stuff. Doctors for bikes and injuries. And uh, you actually need to research some of these things to uh, get it. And you need a warden to then go into the bureaucracy uh, screen, which is where you can... Un Unlock the accountant's things. Then, finally, utilities, which gives you some crazy view, and you can see Bob and Jim and Snob all in their uh, in their prime, and their invisible truck. And this is basically your electricity and your water. And you have to connect it all with pipes, and it's a pain in the bum, because uh, it costs lots of money. And that's probably the best thing about this game, to be honest. There's so many features, but you have to balance them all. So it is no walk in the park. <gasps> okay. And then, this is new. I haven't even used this before. You have emergencies. You have a fire engine. Holy crap. That is incredible. Freaking awesome. Riot police and paramedic dicks. And uh, contraband. Deployment. Clone. What? Yeah, shit. So you can just clone a whole bloody building, I suppose. Anyway, let's get on with this. Just check I was actually recording, because that would be dumb. Ugh. So, first things first, I'm going to, uh, I'm basically going to do a really small, uh, basic prison. Just to show you what it's like when you first start up the game. You can do all sorts of extravagant and fancy things. I mean, the large area is literally, like, bloody out here somewhere. But then you've got the derelict buildings and all sorts of things like that. So, objects, it's basically just a, uh, a block, which tells you, uh, I probably wanted to put a door there. So yeah, so these, as you see, it says garage, well, garbage even, garage, what the fuck, and then deliveries, and I'm dumb, so I want to get rid of all of them, and it has this nice, like, boxy click and drag feature uh, to delete things, which is really nice, or you can do blocks individually. So basically, this is, if we look at rooms, and we go to storage, um, you can actually put this anywhere, because it's just literally a place on the floor to stick your guff. And um, it tells you the requirements of each one. So, cells are pretty important. So if we go there, it has to be indoors for a start, which I don't really agree with, because, uh, fucking, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, minimum size of two by three blocks, of course, has been closed. So it has to have walls. I mean, you got to be a 
bit of a dirt to not give it walls because then it would just be it. anyway um, and a bed and a toilet is the only luxuries they require for you to do that room and once you've done that you can label that um, as they've done here automatically for me because they're lovely and uh, gosh darn it fucking football manager 2014 some sort of some sort of some sort of yeah the best offense anyone can give so let's go we're gonna get we're gonna 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 get a pathway there's a fat pathway it just comes down here for no good reason and then and then we're gonna get oh shit we're gonna get uh we're gonna start it here that's gonna be like our entrance and then there's gonna be, uh, I don't know, like offices. I'm gonna make it small for now, as I said, because foundations and stuff cost a bomb. And then there's gonna be a little, a little thingy, a little, a little thingy right there, and then a holding cell. Let's just check the dimensions on that. Uh, five by five, that should be fine, I do believe. So five by five, yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. And then we're gonna have a space, and then we're gonna have where our cells will go. Just make it like that big for now, and then a space. Normally, I have like a hallway or something coming down as well, but again, I'm just doing the basics um, because that's all these videos are supposed to be about. They're just an introduction, a first look, if you will. Uh, well, Canteen has no um, minimum size, interesting. Neither does that, what the fuck? Okay, seems pretty legit, if you ask me. So, whoop, 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 whoop. yeah, that's gonna be our prison for now. Uh, we're just gonna build the hell out of it. So we'll press play, and you got this nice little clock that shows you how damn fast the time's going and how much you suck. Got our supplies coming in. There we're gonna go in there. So first things first, we're gonna get some I don't know, fancy some concrete wall maybe. Get that down there. As you see, just click and drag. Nice and intuitive, nice and simple. And uh, the whole interface of the game is just really user friendly. If you're a beginner, everything is lined out. You can see they actually. Um, Color code thing, so red means you're gonna do some bad thing. Red again is uh, <laughs> bad things, if you want to put it that way. And then green is, of course, just neutral things. And uh, but, but, but what else do they do? I believe when you select a room and then go on objects, uh, not this type of room, but I might show you later, it actually highlights the ones that uh, are necessary for that room or the ones that you should be putting in that room. Uh, which is just nice. It means you don't have to look through everything and waste your valuable times. Uh, what the hell am I doing? Objects. Staff door. And all you do, um, you can draw everything with a mouse, to be honest. But if you middle click, it twists things around. So you go, woo! And obviously zoom in, zoom out. Uh, auto saving. And then, oh dear. Didn't want to do that. And then you can, uh, drag around the camera with the middle mouse button or so. I'm gonna get another door in probably. That would, uh, that would be nice I suppose and I appreciate that. So then Job Bob Jim Smin Snob Dob and Cobb can uh, get the guff the gubbins and gov. Yeah. Concrete wall. No. I always do this. I always forget you have to do a foundation. Foundation ten dollars per bloody thing. So we're going to get this whole thing which is going to cost a 10,000 pounds. Ooh. 10 squid in big ones. Squid in big ones. And then they're all going to come along and they're going to do some stuff. And I'm going to be like, yeah. And it said uh, it requires an entrance so I gave it an entrance. And yeah. Look at this. We're going to fast forward. Eee, look at these delivery trucks going hard to the core. Going ham. Look at the stuff there. Oh my Jesus. Can you tell English is my strong point? That's a lot of guff. 
And then they just, uh, what the hell kind of shadow is that? The shadow's gone wonky. 